Hi everybody, welcome along to another video and you're out here with me in the Met Shack. So, um, one of my favourite subjects in radio is audio and I do quite a bit of messing about with audio equipment. I have uh, a lot of processing gear and one of the things that pains me uh, to see is people paying really extraordinary amounts amounts of money for cables that you can quite easily make yourself so I'm going to do a few videos on uh, cabling and the different types and whatnot so what we're going to have a look at in this video we're going to make a balanced cable uh, with two jack plugs on each end so I'll show you what we're going to be dealing with and then we can crack on with the rest of the video okay let's uh, take a look at what we're going to be dealing with here so what we have here is a three quarter inch uh, jack plug well we have a pair of them and these are tip ring sleeve so tip ring and sleeve okay so this is what we need to make a balance cable at each end both of them are the same and um, so here's the cable that I'm going to use. This is the only cable I get them out of the way and the camera will focus. This is the only cable that I use. Van Damme Tour Grade Classic Mini Star Quad Microphone Cable. We have to strip off some of the of this uh, stuff here. This is very interesting trying to do this through the the lens of the camera let me tell you. <laughs> it's a uh, great fun so here's what you end up with so I, I always untwist the, the braid make sure you get it all you don't leave any stray bits there what I do is I twist it like this and I just leave it off to one side and this has kind of like a, a paper like material on it as well so I just get rid of that now that's that so you see there we have two blue wires and two white wires uh, that's what I was telling you about our uh, two conductors for each line now what the way I do it is I use the white for the audio plus and I use the blue for the audio minus and the braid of course is the shield so just they're a little bit too long so we just take a bit off them with the old snips and then we'll strip them no fancy wire strippers here so what I do is I just score at both sides and then twist it together this is lovely cable to work with like when you're soldering it and uh, soldering it and stuff so it's freely available on eBay it's a little bit in the pricey side but it's a very very good cable so now we need to in this now. This yoke is a godsend. Now let's move some of that stuff out of the way there. Right, so here we go. I'm just going to tin the conductors. You should always tin your wires. Just makes it a lot easier when you're putting on the plug. Right, so you need to tin uh, your braid as well, which you should snip to roughly the same length as the rest of them. And tin it back fairly well. Right, so, 
this. That's what you should end up with. And we'll just snip off any nasty bits. So that's what you should have. Well, let's have a look at the connector now. So basically most of these uh, connectors, they just unscrew like that. And you can set the... You can set that to one side. And they always come with either a, a plastic or a cardboard ring like this. And the idea of that is it slips on over here when you have the connections made. And it stops the it stops the wires touching the shell and uh, short out. So the way these are kind of done inside, it's uh, simple enough. So the tip is here, as I said, ring and sleeve. Always the shortest one is the tip. The next longest one is the ring, and this piece along the bottom here is the sleeve. So you can bend out the. I always bend them out flat like that before I start and that just makes it a bit easier so I can get my little vise here just clamp this here make it a bit easier for you to see what's going on I'll move the camera as well so so I always start off by putting some uh, solder along in the bottom of the where your uh, ground wire is going to go you just put a nice little puddle there in the bottom like that and then the best way to do this actually as well is to um, when you're making the the solder connections inside the the two pins here is to solder them on the inside like that you just tin them with a bit of solder and the reason we tin them is that we go to solder on our wires it'll just stick a lot quicker so that's that now we come along with our cable and remember we said uh, we're going to use white for the for the tip like that just clamp that a little tighter now No harm to uh, use a pair of tweezers. It's easier to get a tweezers in there than your fingers. And solder it like that. And always make sure to hold it that it goes cold. That the cable doesn't move because you get a dry connection. And then the last one you can put in is the the ground. You can just kind of bend that there. Like that. Then you can push it down and clamp in your two connectors like that. So at this point then you can get the other end of your cable you can slide on the plastic sleeve and so you can push them in a bit then when you solder them on the inside like that you see the way it covers everything then the next thing to put on is your spring for your strain reduction and the ferrule then goes on last So the other end then is just a, a repetition of that, so I won't bother showing you that. Uh, quarter inch tip ring sleeve on each end, balanced audio lead with decent cable. Um, the cable is about 150 a meter, it's on eBay, £1.50 a meter. And the plugs you'll get, uh, you can get packs of five or ten of them for, for a few quid, so... Um, you know, I've seen these on eBay made like that and lads looking for uh, 10 or 12 pounds for them and a, and a few quid post as well. So 
um, plus the fact the enjoyment of making it yourself so 7-3 and thanks for watching my name is George my ham radio call sign EI7 Kilo Oscar